Fire buckets? Fire buckets. These are like late 1700s to late 1800s. Where did you get these? Oh, uh, I've been collecting. They all came out of Maine. OK. These are some of my favorite ones, but I've got a kid in college, and I figure yeah. I'm going to have to let some of the collection go. Uh, yeah, I got a daughter who wants to go to medical school. Uh. <laughs> I collect fire buckets. I acquired these directly from collections of people who I personally have had them for years. I'd like to get 5,000. Fire buckets didn't last, so having them is its rare. This is really cool. I mean, people don't think about it today, especially living in the United States. I mean, back then, if you lived in a small town, you were most likely in the fire brigade, whether you wanted to be in it or not, because it was your civic duty. Yeah. You know, by the late 1800s, early 1900s, they sort of went out of fashion because there was hoses. <laughs> so these are obviously 1851. This is a matching pair. OK. He was a sea captain, and that's West Cassett's fire service. It's neat that you have the pair, too. Yeah. Because normally, you don't see pairs of these buckets anymore. No. You, know, you just see the one like this. And that's the oldest one. That's the Union Fire Club. It's one of the first fire companies in Maine. All right, and this one is? That's believed to be Biddeford Fire Department out of Maine. That would be a late war yeah, fiber this... bucket. OK. Um, they're really cool. These old buckets are in pretty good shape. And with my experience, anything firefighter this old is collectible. If I can make a deal on these things, I think they'll go out of the store really damn quick. How much do you want for these, realistically? As a, <laughs> as a group, I'd like five grand. OK. This one right here, I'm not really in love with. I'm just telling you that right now. This thing you can still use today. These are the ones that are cool, because these are the ones they stopped using. They're leather, they rotted. Just a million different things happened to them, so they're not around a lot. <sighs> um, can I give you 3500 for them? Really thinking that when I sell them, I'm going to get two grand for the pair and maybe three grand for this? Um, I'll go four. Um, and that's including that. That's a gift. OK. I'll tell you what, I'll go 38. It's more than a fair price. OK, I can do that. Cool, man. All right. All right, we got great. a deal. Um, go this way. Um, we'll do some paperwork. My guys will get these, all right? OK, great. I was really hoping for some more money, but he did make a fair offer, and uh, I did make a profit on him. So I'm, I'm happy. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.